Good morning, guys. I am going to let you guys get ready with me. I'll let you watch me make my bed. Oh, I look not very good. Crushed it. I also have the best bed ever. My bed is awesome. I love my bed, but nobody knows it but me. And I'm missing you. And nobody knows it but me. This is why I'm always late for things because it takes me this long to make my bed. How many pillows do I have on my bed? We have 10 pillows that go on the bed. I know my room is like an old Southern woman and I'm proud of that because these are the most inviting rooms. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how I do my hair, and what all products I use. I'm so thankful that Paul Mitchell partnered with me for this video because I've grown up only using Paul Mitchell products, so it's really exciting that I'm able to like honestly show you all the products that I do use and have used for a long time because y'all all asked. So I'm going to take a shower. I can't video that, but I will show you. I'm gonna turn on the shower. I've used this same shampoo and conditioner forever. My hair has like a lot of keratin, like proteins, so I can't use a shampoo that has a lot of junk in it. So this one helps for like my frizzy, frazzled hair. It's lavender mint tea tree moisturizing shampoo and the same conditioner. And I'll see y'all after. Of course, I put on some pajamas. I feel like my face knows when I have a video to shoot because it just is like, oh yeah, let me show you. Here's is it, here's is it, here's is it. I need food. For today's lunch, we're gonna eat leaves. I'm gonna shovel some leaves down into my body and I'll see you guys in a bit. We're gonna get ready together. Woohoo! So I'm gonna go into how I get ready and what I do to get my hair looking the way that it does. When it looks good. When it looks bad the way that I get it that way is because I don't wash it. So, got out of the shower. I, ah, ah, ah. All the products that I use are all vegan. I didn't even know that, but they all are, so. Well, look at me and Paul Mitchell's cruelty free it's just a really good company and I'm like so thankful that that is what I grew up in and around and they're awesome so and then I also have been using these two products I am so loyal to these two products so this is Alpui wild ginger um, styling treatment oil I put like two pumps in my, <laughs> I'm not good at this, put two pumps in my hand, I rub together and then I just kind of like lightly put it through my hair. And then I use this leave-in conditioner spray. It's also lavender mint and it smells so good. One of my favorite things is the smell of lavender. Actually, one time I made this things I love list, list in my journal and one of them is lavender, pajamas, coffee, which I don't have coffee, and coffee mugs. These are a few of my favorite things. Now, I'm gonna brush, brush, brush. I've used this brush since, probably I was like four. But then we also love this brush because it's Belle. I'm gonna use the Paul Mitchell Express Ion Dry Plus. It's so good. It'll make it go really fast. Also, this one has all these different uh, settings where you can make it hotter or colder and not just like hold the button and how fast you want it to go. Okie dokie. I'm gonna do my makeup first, a little light makeup, and then we'll go on to styling my hair. Darling. So I'll see you on a bit. All right, so I put some makeup on. 
is it even blended? My freaking eyebrows are crazy. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna use hot off the press. You know how I said like I've ruined my hair before and a lot of it was, was because of heat and the color and all that junk. So I've learned it's very important to protect your hair. You just spray a little of this on it. I have two different tools that I have because I don't know which way I wanna go with my hair just yet. One makes a fuller curl. This one's more like my beach wave, but this is the Express Gold Curl. I'm a big advocate of like gold instead of the ceramic curling irons. Not because I just like the color gold, but because I think they curl my hair better. I think how I'm gonna do my hair today is take the first, um, the top part and roll it up and just focus on the bottom first. Why it's hard for me to do these tutorials is like, I just kind of do my hair. I don't know if I have like a formula for it. It's very trial and error. And then I just kind of go with what, what happens. I go in between these two, just so you know, this like smaller rod and this bigger rod. For this looser wave, I use this one and a half. If I wanted a little bit tighter, then I use my one and a quarter. So I started, like did a few testers. I pick up about this amount of hair, which on my head, I, I have a lot of hair. So try to do like a ratio of whatever this is. And then I clamp down and, and back. And I do this like, I continue to, um, to twist and like clamp up, like clamp in and out, if that makes sense. Probably not. So you're just like boom, 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 boom. Somebody told me that was weird, that that was not usual technique, but it is my technique. But I just twist around and continue to twist and clamp, twist and clamp. And then just let them sit and stay. I am gonna use this one as well. I don't wanna do this all the way around because it does, this is a tighter curl than I normally do. But when I'm doing these like looser waves, it it's not an all over tightness, but it'll give it a little bit. But when I'm in a rush all, I use one curling iron. <laughs> Done this side. I'm gonna use this extra body finishing spray to just set this in. Good. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and now I'm gonna do this side. Same thing. We're gonna go away from the face. It looks like a really nasty doo doo curl. Well, no, this is not what a doo doo curl is. I told somebody, I talk, was saying something about a doo-doo curl and people didn't know what I was talking about. Is that like a southern thing or a, you know what a doo-doo, well, it, like when it just says roll, which I don't know why we call that a doo-doo curl, but it is. So this could still be one. Like if I left it all like this, that's a doo-doo curl. Okay, so that is the bottom layer. Oh, we have got to the top. I don't know what part I'm gonna do and this is where it always gets tricky for me because my hair does well lots of different ways. I'll be like, oh, I wanna wear my hair in the middle and then it doesn't work that way. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I need it to work. So I halved it and then I'm going to half the other side again and kind of just roll it over here. It's very lovely. Some days I'll spend so much time on my hair and it'll look decent. And then there are days that I take like five, like truly five minutes to throw some curls in it. And I'm like, that's when I get the most compliments. I, my mind, my hair has a mind of its own or it's my mind, which actually makes sense too, because there's, you never know what you're gonna get. And, oh. So when I don't have a clip, I usually just tuck my hair under the opposite ear. I've always done this. I didn't realize it was weird until one time in, I guess, I don't know if it was high school or college. 
I had a boyfriend like come in on me while I was like uh, doing my hair and was like, what? But that's how I did it. I started curling my own hair. I'm pretty sure in middle school, my mom would put my hair in rollers because my hair's always had this like weird texture to it. So when I put it in a ponytail, it sometimes looked raggedy and gross. So she would put curlers in the bottom of my ponytail so it would make it like just like this really pretty curl. And this is what like all the the cool hairstylists use. Um, you know how people like section hair off? We don't do that around here. We just pick up hair that's relatively in the same spot. I'm sure there's a reason for people having techniques in hair, but I feel like you just gotta figure out what works for your hair. It shouldn't be so like I feel like people try so hard to not look like it you tried hard instead of just like not trying hard i don't know you just do the thing hope it works out if it doesn't like put your hair in a ponytail or put a hat on i don't know so when i'm done i just kind of whoop, whoop, whoop. I need to see all the back looks oh see we gotta always check the back do i always check the back no so do i probably go around with spots like that a lot of time yes do people notice no I like my hair to look a little, not frizzy, but not, I like texture, I like a lot of texture. This is extra body finishing spray, so it'll kind of keep it looking fresh. Oh, let me do a thumbnail. I feel like this is a good thumbnail. Okay, so here's the finished product. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to see how your hair comes out. Send me pics. Make sure you like this, like this, wherever the like button is. Comment whatever you wanna comment about, hey, your, my hair looks like trash or you love my hair. Whatever you wanna say, honestly. I mean, let's try to be nice because we need to spread some kindness. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Also, tell me what more you want to see. Do you want to see more like how I do things? Just let me know. Okay, I love you guys. Probably going to go make some coffee and listen to Christmas music. Okay, bye.